Hey guys, on today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to update your iPhone, iPad, or iPad Touch to the latest 10.1.1. So that's the latest iOS right now. And um, just before we do that, so let's just go right into settings. And I want you guys to go to iCloud and make your backup. If you guys have no more space on iCloud, you can always reset it, or you can just make a free and unlimited backup on your computer using iTunes. iTunes is a free program for both Mac and PC, so if you have Windows, you can install iTunes and make your backup there. Anyways, um, once you've done that, make sure you have at least 50% of your battery, and then just go into General. Okay, so we went into Settings, then General, and then Software Update. Once you're in Software Update, you guys should see this, and just press Install Now. Now, um, you guys might not see Install Now right away. You guys will see, might see, um, download and install now so just do that the download shouldn't take more than 10 minutes and uh, if you have really slow internet let's say 30 minutes and um, just have it hooked up to some electricity so your iPhone iPad touch won't die throughout the process and always be connected to Wi-Fi so you won't go over your data plan and um, anyways you might ask you for your passcode once you're done that your iPhone will iPad will turn off you guys will see an Apple logo, a loading bar, and it's just gonna slowly load up. So, I, well, before that, actually, you're gonna, you guys are gonna see your iPhone turn off, it's gonna flash, and then you guys will see that Apple logo. Okay, it's gonna load up, it's a white screen, and once that's done, you're all set. So this shouldn't take more than 30 minutes, uh, the whole process of installing and downloading. However, with slower and slower internet, and depending which iPhone you got or iPad up touch, it might take up to an hour, let's say. That would be your max, okay? If um, it's just on a white screen or it's giving you an uh, iTunes logo on it, that means something went wrong and you guys will have to connect it up to your computer, open up iTunes, that once again it's compatible with Mac and PC, and then just restore it. So hopefully you made that backup that I told you and uh, you're good to go. Anyways, that's it for this update. It's gonna fix some glitches. Uh, it's no big deal, but uh, it does fix a lot of stuff actually. Anyways, that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here in the comments area and don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.